Hola, beautiful souls. So today we are on to another lesson, allowing ourselves to free the past from our minds that we may look upon reality here. And so today's lesson is a goodie. Lesson 289, the past is over. It can touch me not. The past is over. It can touch me not. Now I think this is like a pinnacle in our learning here. Recognition that it is only ever the past that causes us pain. And it is this past that we bring with us as baggage into all our relationships, into all of our experiences, into all of our business endeavors. And so what we're learning is to walk forward courageously, step by step in our life, free of the past. For when we are free of the past, we are no longer letting the past be the glasses with which we look through onto this world. If we remove the glasses of the past, then we look upon a brand new glorious and perfect world. The real world as God created it to be instead of how we think that it is based on our past. So today is truly a liberation, a freedom, a lifting of the veils of the past that we may look upon what is truly present here at all times. So today's lesson, as I had mentioned, is lesson 289. So let's go through it together and, uh, and read it through. I think that's the, the alarm from our little wakey from a nap. <laughs> Tom and I had a long and enjoyable day today, completely miraculous. We completed everything we needed to complete as we went down to London. Watched the movie Gravity, by the way. Great movie. Saw some beautiful friends. Thank you, husband. So lesson 289, the past is over. It can touch me not, meaning my past cannot hurt me. My past cannot hurt me. And so let's see what this is written here today. Unless the past is over in my mind, the real world must, must escape my sight. For I am really looking nowhere seeing but what is not there. How can I then perceive the world forgiveness offers? This the past was made to hide. For this the world that can be looked on only now. It has no past. For what can be forgiven but the past? And if it is forgiven, it is gone. That is like everything summed up into four lines. So let's dive into this a little deeper. Unless the past is over in my mind, the real world must escape my sight. For I am really looking nowhere, seeing but what is not there. Our thoughts projected outward, remembering that this world is a blank canvas, like a blank movie screen, and our mind is the projector, projecting our thoughts, our past beliefs and conclusions and fears and ideas and wishes out onto the world, out onto this canvas. And so we will see what is being held in our mind. So if we have thoughts of condemnation and judgment, boom, we will see it there. If we have thoughts of forgiveness and of love, boom, we will see it there. But we are being reminded that thoughts leave not their source. So if I'm still seeing myself as a character in the world, and I am still seeing a repeat of my past, you know, the cycle, it's just coming right back around to bite me in the butt. I can't get over these not going good relationships. I can't get over this idea of lack. I can't get over, you know, these body images, whatever it might be. We're going through cycle, 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 cycle. But it is because of what is seeing, who is it that is looking at first we are looking through the eyes of the body and the eyes of the past that is what brings us about the world that we see what we're learning is to no longer see through the eyes of the body but instead to see through the eyes of forgiveness to see through the eyes of Christ see through the eyes of our one mind our powerful mind that is joined with source and when we let ourselves see through new eyes we look upon a new world so forgiveness is a completely new world, is a completely new vision. 
Whereas the past is the old world, it is the old vision that is wrapped up in war, death, and sin. So we are allowing ourselves here to recognize that unless the past is over in my mind, the real world must escape my sight. For if I still hold past in my mind, I will see past in my world. But when I clear my mind of past through forgiveness, I look upon the forgiven world and see the real world there. And so Jesus asks us, how can I then perceive the world forgiveness offers? By releasing the past from my mind. For the past was made to hide. The past clouds, it obscures, it blocks. For the true world, the forgiven world, can only be looked upon now. And now is where our true vision is. Now is where the forgiven sight is. Now is where we are. And it has no past. No past. For what can be forgiven but the past? And if it is forgiven, it is gone. Right? Because when we see ourselves as we are now, we recognize that we are already forgiven. We recognize that we have done nothing wrong. So the only thing that can be forgiven is the past. And once the past is forgiven, it is gone. The past is no longer here. I'm no longer in the same place I was a year ago. I'm no longer even in the same cells, the same body as I was a year ago. Everything is completely changed. And so we are recognizing that the past is gone. It means nothing. I don't need to bring it with me as a basis of wisdom and understanding and knowledge because knowledge and wisdom and understanding is of God. And we can only come in contact with the mind of God now, here, present, in this moment, right here, right now, free of past completely and entirely. Whew. So this is freeing. This is absolutely freeing, letting our mind be free of the past. And so let's conclude here with the prayer that we move, may move out of the past and into the now where all see, is seen through forgiven eyes. We want to look upon the real world and know that we are there. We want to look upon the new world and know that we are there. Okay, here's the prayer. Father, let me not look upon a past there. Here is the end of guilt, and here am I made ready for your final step. Shall I demand that you wait longer for your son to find the loveliness you planned to be the end of all his dreams and all his pain? This is it, beautiful souls. Calling to the strength and the power of our Father to help us to look past what is not there to look past the past. For God has given us a gift. He has offered us a replacement in the present where we recognize that the past is gone and we are untouched and free from sin. It is only here in the present moment now when we receive the replacement for the world that we see that we recognize the end of guilt has come. And so we are declaring today that I am made ready for your final step. And we are recognizing that there is no need to wait any longer for his son with, with who, whom I am to find the loveliness that our Father God has planned to be the end of dreams and all his pain. The present moment vision now in looking upon the real world, the forgiven world, truly is God's plan to end all dreams and free us of all pain. For when we see through his eyes, we recognize that we can be awake in the dream. And to be awake in the dream is to remember that we are his children. In this place of knowing that we are his children, we know that we are loved because he is. And in this space of love, do we know ourselves to be healed. Free of pain, free of sin, free of limitation, free of lack. And this is a true, absolute reality that we share as equal brothers and sisters. 
And so today the past is over. It can touch me not. I refuse to bring the past with me any longer. And I refuse to look upon a past that is not there. If we still think the past is here, it's because we still hold it in our mind. When we release it from our mind, it releases from our experience. This is the saving grace our Father has given us to release us from this prison and hellhole we call Earth. <laughs> Thank you, Father, that there's a new way of seeing this world and a new way of seeing myself, a new way of seeing my brothers and sisters, a new way of seeing God. So let's affirm this today, that we may have an experience of the ever-present now, free of the past. As we remember, the past is over. It can touch me not. The past is over, and it can touch me not. Hallelujah. Happy and thankful it is so. Enjoy, beautiful souls. <laughs>